the way we describe modes, right, is a combination of these five breath types. So whenever you combine the breath types, now you could talk about modes. And this is where all these concepts are going to come together. So uh, all the we're going to talk about all the basic modes, such as uh, volume assist, uh, pressure assist, volume SIMV, pressure SIMV, and pressure support ventilation. Beginning with the first one, we have volume assist control. So what does it tell you? It's a combination of both volume control and volume assist together so volume assist control if you go high on the rate right this is all gonna be all machine effort right this is the factory breaths 20 right it doesn't matter if the patient is uh, taking any gas the machine will deliver 20 breaths a minute right whatever you said on the other hand if you cycle this breath rate to none right it's all gonna be dependent on the patient effort, right? So patient, uh, patient effort will trigger the ventilator, right? So with no breath rate, it's all dependent on the patient effort. Now, if you, if you put it in the middle, like let's say eight, right? It, it's gonna give you a combination of volume control of eight and volume assist of the rest. So the ventilator is gonna deliver eight breaths as control and the rest, the patient may trigger. So the patient may take 12 breaths, four of which will be assisted, and eight will be controlled. So this is volume assist control. Then we have pressure assist control. So again, the same thing. It's a combination of pressure control breaths and pressure assist breaths, right? So again, if we set the breath rate high, let's say we set it at 20, the machine will deliver controlled breaths at 20, right? And if we set it at none, right, it's all going to be dependent on the patient, right, to trigger the breaths. So the patient triggers it, and he gets it. And if you put the breath rate somewhere in the middle, we we'll put eight, right? So the machine will deliver eight breaths a minute, and the patient, if he wants to take extra spontaneous breaths, he will trigger the ventilator on his own accord, and he will get the, the ex extra breath. That's why it's a combination. Pressure, assist, control. So this is mode number two. Then we have volume, so we go volume, SIMV. So we have volume, SIMV, right? So in this mode, we actually have four things that the ventilator combines. The first one is it combines volume control breath, so again with the rate, right? Volume control breath, so if we put it at 20, it's gonna get 20 breaths on volume. If you put it at very low, it's gonna be all dependent on patient effort to trigger it. Right? If you put it somewhere in the middle, it's going to be a combination of volume, assist, control. However, it also gives you a pressure support uh, uh, breath that we talked about, which is flow regulated. So uh, if the patient drops the flow in the circuit, uh, is what the terms of that. And you could set it at 5, 10, whatever is required for the patient. And the final thing that's in this ventilator, right, is also spontaneous breaths. And spontaneous breaths, the ventilator uh, does not assist and does not offer you any breath. So for example, let's say I set this uh, uh, rate at eight, right? So the ventilator is guaranteeing eight breaths a minute, right? And the patient doesn't want to breathe, so he's gonna get eight breaths a minute. However, if it was pressure support. Whenever patient initiates a spontaneous breaths, the ventilator senses a drop in the circuit, gives them 10 centimeters of help. Uh, to augment the pressure in the circuit and the patient has that help. However, if I set this at none, right, what the ventilator will do when the patient wants to take a breath on his own accord, it's not going to assist them. So it becomes a spontaneous breath, full patient effort. So the ventilator is still going to give you eight breaths a minute. However, there's no pressure support. It means that whenever the patient triggers the vent, it's going to be all self work. And they use this mode whenever they want to wean the patient off the ventilator. So let's say the patient's been in an ICU, their muscles been uh, atrophying because they weren't uh, using all their muscle. What they would do, the clinicians will may start at 15 or 20 of pressure support and let's say rate of 12. And slowly over time, they're gonna reduce uh, the breath rate and they're slowly gonna reduce the pressure supported breath every time they do a spontaneous breathing trial in the ICU until the patient is able to come off the ventilator. And this is called uh, a winning trial. Next we have pressure SIMV. So in pressure SIMV again uh, you have uh, pressure control breaths, you have pre pressure assist breaths. So if I set this at 20 it will be pressure, uh, pressure control 
20 breaths a minute. If I set it at none, it's going to be all patient effort. If I set it somewhere in the middle, like say eight, it's going to be a combination of pressure control, pressure assist. In addition, we have pressure support. So if a patient wants uh, some assistance, they may, the clinician may set it at 10. I'll give him a pressure supported breath. If he wants none, they'll set him none, and it's going to be a spontaneous breath. And the last mode we have here is uh, pure pressure supported ventilation. And in this mode is we set pressure support at, at the designated value, let's say 10. We drop the rate at none, right? So in this mode, patient will breathe on his own, but every breath he takes, the ventilator will give him 10 of pressure support. So it'll, it'll augment the circuit pressure higher to give him that a little assistance, right? And uh, you see these modes sometimes in uh, a patient who been we know the ventilator, but they're not fully able to come off. They need some support. You know, some nursing home patients may have this type of mode. Um, so uh, here, a patient is breathing uh, on his own accord, but the ventilator gives him a little bit of uh, pressure support, right? And if we did this, here, patient will have, be breathing fully, fully on his own accord, all spontaneous breaths, no help whatsoever. So essentially, if the patient is able to do this, he doesn't need uh, the ventilatory support. So at this point, if he's able to adequately breathe, he may come off the ventilator.